Hey guys, it's time to take a look at 35 plus tips and tricks for the LG G5. Now, of course, uh, yeah, this video can be a long video, so I do have these tips and tricks written here. So let's start off with the tip number one, which is the the most asked question uh, that I got after my full review, which uh, how to enable the app drawer, uh, or if this phone does have the app drawer or not. You know, uh, so first of all. Uh, by default, you're not, you're not gonna see any app drawer, so you might freak out if you care about app drawer, you know. So you need to hold the screen a little bit for a few seconds, like one second, and then it's gonna give you the um, home screen settings. And here you can go to select home. Now, I'm basically running like a different firmware so I might receive the software update but there's gonna be a third option which you can select and that will give you the app drawer uh, but if there's no third option then you can select the easy home uh, which will also give you app drawer so yeah no big deal there just wanted to mention it in my first uh, tip here so you can also see that with the easy mode use you, you get a bunch of other crappy stuff also uh, well, not exactly crappy. These are some nice things, you know, you can add some um, favorite contacts and you can uh, quickly call them call you can also access your call logs contacts uh, And you also have this a little bit changed or a little bit easier weather widget and uh, Time and the date and day so it gives you a little bit different look, but yeah, you get your app drawer so uh, to again go back to that uh, basic uh, home display just go into general or go into display yes go into display then home screen and select home and again go back and then you will see the basic layout again so yeah that was the first thing uh, first tip so moving towards the next tip which is related to restoring the applications now um, with the LTG 5 you get this new thing is that whenever you uninstall a application like I'm about to uninstall CPU-Z when you uninstall it okay so it's gone it's completely gone but then you suddenly realize that you don't really want to uninstall that app in the first place so you can just hold down the screen again and this is the option called as uninstall apps now it says that apps that have been uninstalled in the past 24 hours can be reinstalled so you can just click here and that's it no wait whatsoever it's gonna be back again to its uh, place where it was before and then you can launch it and use it without any problems so yeah that's how you can bring the dead apps back or uninstalled apps back without um, messing around the play store so uh, next uh, tip here for you guys is that a lot of people who uh, have no idea how this uh, module thing works on the LTG 5 so basically there's a button here uh, which you have to press or apply a force a little bit until you hear a tick sound or you know it's gonna be a small sound and then you will see uh, this thing separating from the uh, upper display portion so after that you can just quickly swipe it and you can also pull down the battery if you want to so of course I don't want this video to get too long so I'm just gonna put this completely right in and obviously when you do that your phone will turn off so you have to turn it on again Alright, so we're back on and now I'm gonna be talking about the next tip which is related to how to take a screenshot now this is a pretty basic thing uh, which you can do uh, by two different ways there's a hard way and then there's an easy way the hard way is that you have to press the power and the volume down at the same time hold it for a couple seconds and then it's gonna take a screenshot from where you can just delete it or share it if you want to then there's an easy and more advanced way of uh, uh, taking a screenshot or, or I can say after taking the screenshot you get much more features uh, basically you can click here on capture plus uh, which gives which takes a screenshot of what is going on screen you know uh, and then you can go ahead and draw some stuff like if you want to um, highlight something like you can grab anything and you can highlight something like this and then you can save it you can also uh, have some text uh, written you know and you can open it uh, in quick memo and then you can send it to someone you know it's like a uh, like I said more advanced way so but if you just want to normally take a screenshot 
you can do the button combination uh, uh, which is also a, like a traditional way on Android phones so power plus volume down will give you the uh, screenshot so moving towards the next tip which is related to the noise clarity now uh, this feature has been since the LG G3 I think or maybe it was first debuted on the G2 I don't know I never bought the G2 to be honest uh, so I'm just gonna go into the settings oops just gonna go into settings and there's this thing here called as call when you go into the call you get uh, this uh, option called as more when you get into the more and then you have these two options now by default uh, I think this one is turned off so you have to turn it on if you want to enhance the voice clarity to hear more clearly uh, this thing helped me out a lot when I did like a Coca-Cola test of my LG G4 So I turned this option on and this helped me out a lot uh, Made the voice a lot cl uh, clearer or clear, you know So yeah, this is a nice option there which you can use to make your voice more good And of course uh, more things down below you have gestures or gestures Okay, sorry about my pronunciation, but uh, yeah, you get this stuff here, gestures, uh, which you can also use, uh, flip your phone and to silence incoming calls, and uh, what else, you also get some things where you can check the call duration and all that, you can save unknown numbers, so tons of stuff down there, so I'm going to just give you the best and the highlighting or the, uh, the best tips and tricks, you know, what I like overall. Uh, moving towards the next tip, which is related to themes. Now this phone does comes with a uh, with its own theme engine. So obviously, I actually forgot my LG uh, account password, or you know, uh, so that's why I can't show you themes. But if you go into theme by default, we have only one theme, which is the LG theme. But you can have more themes by going into their store, LG Smart World. So uh, lots of free themes available that you can use. However, it's not quite as much good experience as the Samsung's theme engine, you know, they have a lot of themes, uh, almost all of them are free, of course, so, yeah, and we also get themes for, like, always on mode, yeah, so definitely uh, the smart world, you should sign in so that you can get benefit from that, all those theme stuff. Moving towards the next tip, which is related to the memory, or the memory, uh, RAM memory, whatever you call it, so there is a uh, folder on your desktop or on your home screen if I just quickly show you it's called as management okay uh, when you are in this management folder you have to click here into memory box or memory app you can see that you can pretty much see how much RAM is available for your usage so you can see that it has 1.8 gigs of RAM free for my usage 50% is already consumed so and total is 3.7 gigabyte and also shows you the current status of your RAM which is set to normal and you can even see which app is using your RAM so and uh, you can see uh, based on the usage this is my current RAM stats I can also see uh, of more RAM stats and I can also uh, swipe down below see more and more apps and if you click here, you can also sort these by max usage. So by max usage, Chrome is the is the has, it has used the maximum memory usage. You know, 1.2 gigs. Then comes the Android OS. So there you go, all those Chrome lovers. Uh, so yeah, you can see you can see some stuff that uh, most of the time that's hidden. So which you can easily access by going to the management folder, then going to memory app. So yeah, that's pretty cool. All right, so moving towards the next tip, which is probably one of my favorite here, is if you go into, let's see here, if I go down, it's uh, in the notification section, you can see it says notification LED. Now, if you go inside of it, you can disable this notification LED if you want to, because in order to conserve more battery, I don't know if that's going to affect by 1%, 2%, I never tried it, but you can see here that for, uh, in the notification LED section, you can see the incoming call, it's going to give the green light for missed call, again green light for low battery, it's going to be red, and then we have uh, these downloaded apps LED which is purple, and of course this uh, LED will not going to be 
previewed okay so yeah uh, but you can turn off this notification LED if you want to in order to you know conserve more battery so yeah that's that uh, moving towards the next tip which is something that most people already know uh, but if you don't you can go into main settings general about phone software information and you have to tap on bill number a couple of times until you see this thing this is called as developer options now in the developer options you can enable things like this enable OEM unlock which basically allows you to unlock your bootloader and and basically just for rooting and all those stuff you have to unlock the developer options you know otherwise you cannot uh, proceed with the rooting process you know you have to enable this USB debugging also so yeah it's, it's a pretty important step for rooting for root junkies you know uh, moving towards the next tip which is related to those people who are pirate you know who, who install applications from other sources you know sources other than the play store now for those people if you download app the by default android will block the installation now if you want to install them you have to go to general you have to scroll to the fingerprint and security section and you have to scroll down until you see this option called as unknown sources which allow the installation of apps from sources other than the google play store so this will uh, allow and uh, this will precede the uh, installation of the apps without any problem that you download from you know pir piracy website so yeah that's that and next tip for you guys is related to the fingerprint sensor now um, when you enable the fingerprint sensor you basically increase the security of your device you can unlock your phone by just putting finger like this uh, without even waking it so uh, how to enable it you basically go into settings then privacy and then fingerprint security section you go into fingerprints and I'm just gonna confirm my lock and basically you can add up to like five fingers and you click on the add finger section you have to put your finger like a couple of times until it says done it says your fingerprint has been successfully added so now you can see I have three fingers so I can't really see how much I can add up here but probably it's gonna be around five because that's something that that is the number that we basically have on different phones and our phones so you can also use this to lock the content like content in gallery where your photos are so you can make it more secure uh, and you can also lock content in your quick memo plus app uh, where you can you know have some specific personal information or whatever so you want to do that you can do that by clicking this option on so yeah I'm just gonna cancel it I don't want to do it so uh, moving towards the next tip which is related to the vibration now it has this phone has tons of different vibrations related options so I'm just gonna show you if I go into settings sound and notification this is the vibration section now this is where you can see the vibration strength and on, in, the, in this tab you can enable the sound with vibration when someone will call you your phone will uh, play the ringtone at the same time it's going to give uh, play the vibration also and you can also change the vibration type from standard to short repeated to rapid to long lasting so and you can even set up your custom vibration pattern which is really great something that we have on iOS also so yeah this is where you can enable or make your own custom vibration and you can set these custom vibration to specific contacts so that's pretty cool uh, moving towards the next tip which is related to the notification sound now it's pretty easy to change the ringtone sound but the notification sound is actually a little bit of hidden you know you can get a little bit confused so scroll down at the end it says advanced settings now basically we don't expect this notification sound or this is a sound for your notification okay your messages your facebook notification no not facebook facebook has its own sound but some other notifications maybe like instagram so you can go into notification sound and you can have different sounds here a bunch of different sounds you can even have some some of your own custom sounds like you can choose your music 
track or song track from your gallery or some specific uh, you know notification sound that you have downloaded from third-party apps so it's gonna all appear here so it's pretty cool uh, to have it but it's a little bit of hidden you know you have to go into more section there so let's go back and move towards uh, the next tip so I'm just gonna pull the page here and let's take a look so we have another tip which is Kind of like a pro tip, you know, you have to go into settings, scroll down, again, go into developer options, which I showed you how to unlock in the first place. So uh, you go into the developer option, you have the option called as running services. Now in the running service section, you can pretty much see which app is running uh, in the background. Like you can see uh, Google Play Store, settings, com.qualcom, you know, some scary stuff. So you get every single detail what is running in the background. Uh, you can also uh, see that uh, it shows you information about how much of uh, RAM is free. Again, some basic information. You can also see uh, the cached process, uh, which is basically something that you know your phone stores for temporary. Like if I go into Quick Memo Plus, it says this is an old app process that is still running in the in case it's needed again. So usually, no reason to stop it, but you can stop it if you want to because I'm not using Quick Memo Plus at the moment. And you know this this might help you to increase more reps. You can see it's now not showing up there. So yeah, this this might be like some under the hood tricks there to unleash the power of your G5. You know, and uh, and yeah, I thought about why not show you, you guys in this video. And uh, moving towards the next tip, which is related to the always on mode. Now this is the always on mode, okay? And you can see some cool stuff, I can add my signature, I can also uh, write my channel name there, so this is my name. Uh, so I'm just going to go into settings, and if I go into display, you can see that we have this option called that's always on display, going inside. Here you can uh, turn it off, of course, you can turn this one off like this, but if you turn it on, you can basically set up things like what to show. You have the option to show time. It's going to appear like this or signature. I think signature is pretty cool because I have a watch, okay? So I don't really like to see time on my phone. So definitely this is this is better, okay? Signature is better and, and you can even change the fonts, okay? So you can set some signature like I have this one, my name, Zaryab, and then I can set up different... Um, uh, you what you can call fonts so click save and uh, when I do this you can see it looks more cool okay there you are Saturday and then the, we have the day and the date and the month so it's really nice always on display and this is something that you can't really do on the S7 Edge as far as I have seen you know signature thing so moving towards the next day which is related uh, to the touch buttons these touch buttons okay so this phone does have on-screen buttons which is a nice thing you know um, on-screen buttons on-screen buttons so going into display we have the option called as home touch buttons going inside and you can see that you can pretty much change the combination so uh, you can obviously by default you just have these three buttons so you can add things like Q slide capture plus notification notification is this okay you press it you get your toggle or you'll get your window down okay without any swiping thing you can do this okay this is like a more fast way to access the notification panel you don't like it there you can put capture plus there capture plus I showed you guys which takes like a screenshot and then you can draw and stuff like that which also most people are not going to use a lot okay then comes something that I have found pretty useful which is called as Q slide you click on it you get these Q slide applications basically these applications will be like a multitasking applications okay you click on message you get a quick little tab on the top even when you are using Facebook, watching a movie or anything like that, you can just quickly want to type a message and send to someone. You can use this, okay? You can increase or decrease the transparency. You can see the app will remain there. You can go ahead and even play some games if you want to. So that's pretty damn awesome. And I'm just going to go back. And you can see it's still there. Again, you can increase the transparency. You can quickly move it anywhere you want. You can, again, uh, if you click here, you can resize it. 
uh, you can go back and I'm just gonna go into QSlide and launch like phone dialer you can also close it same thing with the video you got calculator you got some important QSlide applications here that you can use so it's pretty useful and like it like this thing to stay here and uh, yeah it's a advanced multitasking thing there and another tip for you guys is how to hide these buttons now sometimes you play games we all play games on our phones okay uh, sometimes we hide uh, we have to hide some uh, touch buttons you know so that we can get full screen experience now if you go into hide home buttons section uh, it says it, it gives you all the applications now by default when I when I was playing GTA San Andreas uh, the 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 touch buttons were visible so when I turned this option on and I launched my game like let's launch the GTA Liberty City store you can see the buttons are now hidden I have full 5.3 inch quality display uh, on my phone to play with so that's pretty cool and that is something that you should know for all those gamers and uh, next thing for you guys is related to Android 6.0 Marshmallow you get Google now which basically scans the screen and show you guys some relevant information and of course you can access your cars and all that so that's pretty cool moving towards the next tip which is related to color inversion which is pretty cool actually for those people who have a low vision so going into the notification panel going to the end and enable it you can see it, it for it is for those people who have low vision but you can also play like a prank on your phone uh, on your friends you know to turn this option on if they are super super noob and they don't know what's happening so they might be thinking like their phone is like water damage or something like that so it's a nice thing and it's there next feature or next tip is pretty important thing you know if you want to see the true performance of your phone true beast performance in gaming and benchmarks and all that you have to go into settings you have to go scroll down uh, and no you have to go into settings and you have to go into general tab and then you have to scroll down until you see battery and power saving when you're inside of battery and power saving what you have to do is you have to enable the game optimizer or actually disable it well my head is just you know you have to disable this okay I have already disabled it so but by default it is enabled so basically this just adjust the video quality you know and stop your phone's phone your phone to be fully unleashed so you have to turn it off in order to get the best performance in gaming and all that so this might improve frame rate by like 5 to 10 fps so yeah uh, for best performance you have to disable it uh, moving towards the next step which is related to the bold text now if you want to uh, enable bold dark text on your phone then you can go into display and you have to see this option under the font section it says bold text if you enable it you get a little more dark or a little more black um, dark uh, you know font color uh, which is which can be a good thing for some people you know everything will be more darker the widget and all that uh, so it looks cool it might be a big deal for you guys I'm just gonna turn this one off but it's there uh, next thing for you guys is related to the location services now if you go into location services I don't know if this for if if this one is like with uh, available with Samsung Galaxy S7 also uh, but this is related to some Qualcomm phones okay so when you enable the location services you can also use this thing called as low power location estimation which use Qualcomm hardware acceleration so you can enable it and this will basically accelerate the, the location uh, estimation you know and uh, and also you can enable it for the camera so but the thing here is that this can be a good thing but it, it, the thing here when you enable it it will be running all the time so this can eat up your battery so you can just disable it when you're not using it so yeah that's that uh, moving towards the next tip which is related to the screen swipe effect now by default I don't really have any effect I can just go here holding on the screen going into home screen and settings and you can see I have an option called a screen swipe effect clicking on it enabling it. it first of all it's on slide I can have it on let's say breeze click OK and now you can see it's cool it's more cool 
looks more smooth. Next tip is related to the IR blaster on this phone, which is of course not available on the Galaxy S7 Edge. So uh, with the IR blaster on the S uh, on the LG 5 you get a app by default in the LG folder which is called as the quick remote. Now this will allow you to pretty much control your your TV, your set top box, audio air conditioner, projector and you can also use it as a universal remote you know. So yeah and you are not just bound to use this quick remote app. There is a There are some tons of applications available in the Play Store. Some of them are paid but they will give you much more options uh, and you can even control like every single air conditioner company you know air conditioner from different companies uh, that by default this app can't control so you get much more options in a third party uh, remote app so yeah that's there and I really like the LG for doing this you know for having this IR blaster here so uh, let's move towards the next tip which is uh, related to the contacts info so when you go into settings you go into display you go into lock screen now here you have the option to uh, of course change the wallpaper but other than that all that BS other than all these BS you have a contact info information you know or a setting for contact information now you can uh, set this thing always on lock screen okay which means like whenever your phone gets stolen or let, let's say if your phone gets uh, misplaced okay you forgot your phone in a in a in a restaurant you can do this okay you can do this as a security thing you can type in your number whatever your number is you can save it you can lock your phone and when you take a look at the lock screen okay just gonna take a look at the lock screen you can see the number is always there right down below so basically you can add your number you can also add your email address so like I said if your phone get misplaced this is a great thing a good people in the world will contact you on your email or your phone number whatever option you will choose so yeah that's there and I and I thought yeah like you know this is like the one of the best editions in their software UI and let's move towards the next step which is related to the disabling of smart bulletin smart bulletin is like a smart thing you know like a widget going on to your home screen so by default it is enabled so you have to disable it by going into of course the same home screen settings and of course it's it will be looking like this okay so turn it off you have to hold down again going into home screen settings and then scroll down and disable it and that's all of course you have the option to disable it completely or dis disable it for like some things like for LG health calendar smart setting quick remote and Evernote you can just leave it there for music it looks kind of cool you know you just quickly play music and all that it looks a little bit cool so let's move towards the next thing which is related to the smart uh, or what you call sorting of applications you can sort the applications in in a true alphabetically order uh, alphabetic order you know when you install applications they will just scatter all over your home screen this will not gonna look good so you have to go into the home screen settings you have to see here in layout section you have sort apps by you click on it you can sort them by download date or name so if I do name and here we go you get more of a organized app section so they're not gonna be wandering everywhere so yeah that's pretty cool moving towards the next tip which is uh, related to the screen color now this is something that most people don't really know you can actually tweak the screen of your LG G5 you have to go to general scroll down okay there we go and here you can see we have these options and uh, first off we check out the vision settings you get tons of options like talk back and message and call wise it's basically options for those people who have some kind of disability dis disability whatever you're gonna call it and uh, and there's a one specific option you call as screen color adjustment now you can adjust the screen colors according to your eyes if the white more white screen hurts your eyes you can enable red green which basically uh, turns the uh, turn, turn down the white tone a little bit 
you can turn this one on blue yellow or you can even uh, tweak it manually if you want to like this you can see that now it's going to be more greener so uh, you can also make it more yellowish which gives you like a night shift type of thing so yeah it's there and it's under the um, what you call accessibility settings. Um, I'm gonna go back and show you guys some more options in the accessibility section. We have the motor and cognition. Here you have a touch assistant. Now this is pretty cool because if you are using a LG G5, like for, if you are planning to use this phone for like two years and maybe if you uh, mess, mess up its uh, a volume rocker, you can actually use this uh, touch assistant feature which basically gives you this quick little thing here. You press it you get these options you can increase the volume you can decrease the volume you can use the you can use this to get to home screen you can even use this to uh, power off your phone so yeah that's pretty cool okay so second last tip for you guys is that a lot of people ask me from where I get all my wallpapers so I have downloaded a free application called as Zedge and by this application I can download cool wallpapers now basically when you when you launch this application if you have a s7 or or like a note 5 it basically detects your device and gives you the best wallpaper possible so you get like you can see it shows me the LG wallpapers uh, on my LG phone so uh, nonetheless all wallpapers are pretty damn HD so you get bad, uh, best uh, quality out of your display so they look really stunning so that's why I get this question asked a lot of time you know people just even message me specifically on my uh, Facebook page for this so Zedge is the application it's a free application you can get it from Play Store moving towards the last tip something that most people don't really know that the G5 comes with a application which is called as FM radio now FM radio is for some reason not available in phones like uh, Note 5 you know or I think I haven't checked it on my S7 uh, so but yeah it's not available on Note 5 and probably some other phone doesn't have it so but the T5 does have the FM radio application which will only work if you plug in the earphones so yeah that's that you can use it to listen to radio your favorite radio station and all that so yeah that, these were the 35 plus tips and tricks for the LG G5 uh, yeah, it was a long video might be a little bit boring for you guys, but uh, Yeah, the, it was a informational video if you plan to use your G5 uh, Be sure to watch this fully because you will learn more about your phone and yeah I will see you guys in my next video. Peace out